Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. I don't know if you noticed, but I tend to start building all my Christmas villages without any overall project planned. Obviously, some parts are planned in advance, like putting stairs, like the uh, ancient Greek park, but nothing else. I don't draw it totally in advance. I simply lay down the basics and last season my basic was the railroad around which I built everything else. Uh, this year my basics are those one, two, three, pure, simple, very straight styrofoam panel levels. Do they speak to my idea of a new project I have in mind? For the arbor section, the pier, the docks, the sea, yes. Uh, for the twin stairs and the uh, ancient Greek park, also yes, simply because ancient Greek uh, architecture was mainly based on pure, simple, straight lines. <laughs> now, now, after having started building it and after having followed the flow, as I always do because I start and I follow the flow, now I am on the, at the point where I am blocked by those straight lines. <laughs> Not uh, physically, obviously, but mentally, yes, those straight lines are blocking me in many ways. And as I pointed out multiple times during last season, I ate sincerely straight lines. Uh, so uh, I prefer rounded corners, I prefer curves on, on my project. And uh, right now, even if I already have 20 to 22 tasks open and still to be completed, I need to do some changes. I need to add some craziness because, yes, ancient Greek park, but also, yes, Victorian era city, village, so very modern <laughs> if I compare it to ancient Greek architecture. So I desperately need a restyling, and this will be the first restyling of this season because I think I will need more than one. And this new restyling will start in just some seconds. Finally, I'm here to build the wall. What wall? <laughs> the little wall that will surround all the base of the fountain. <laughs> I should have done it at least a month ago, but hey, here I am finally. Uh, how I will proceed? Generally, I use this kind of uh, extruded styrofoam, uh, 9mm thick, okay? And obviously, it's not bendable at all. If I go further, it will crack. But I took the same uh, piece of styrofoam, no, the same panel, and I cut almost in the middle, or uh, I've tried to go almost in the middle and I'm uh, just half of the thickness. And here we go, we now a uh, piece of styrofoam that will be absolutely bendable. So I will be able to follow the perimeter of the uh, fountain. Now I'm here, let me just measure it's uh, 1.5 centimeters. Okay, let's say I will go here with uh, 75, two times. 75, okay? And from the other side, two. 75, 75. 7.5 millimeters, obviously. 
five, six, uh, seven, and a half. There. I need a line right there in the middle. Okay, I need this line. Now, I will go as usually. I will try to do some bricks. And I will go... Yes, why not? Large bricks this time. Each two centimeters. And obviously here, right in the middle. some black in order to define all the um, lines uh, under each layer then some gray then just a little bit of white and the bricks are visible right now and I can bend it some seconds to let it dry and then let's see how it looks all around the fountain so here we have the little very little tiny wall I've just made, okay, and I will place it all around the border of the fountain. Uh, yes, one thing I don't know if you notice, maybe I will do some light there, okay, but uh, I've changed the background uh, that, that I used to hide the mini pump. I wasn't satisfied with all that blue, with all that mosaic. I thought it was mm, too modern, so I went with a simple pattern of uh, um, marble. This is a pattern I found online, um, some Carrara marble, mm, also very used at that time. Not especially from Carrara, because uh, Italy is uh, posterior to uh, ancient Greeks. But hey, anyway, this is a mixture of cultures, so I've used this pattern here. These are shredded pieces of um, marble uh, glued on top, on top of uh, a styrofoam piece, a piece of styrofoam, sorry, then uh, a layer of 
two components uh, epoxy resin, then one more layer of uh, polymer sealant as I've uh, just shown you last time. Now I will go that way guys, I don't know if you can see, but I will try to go that way all around the border here. Uh, sometimes I will need to refile to file something because I don't have the same height all around there. I don't have the same height. So <clears throat> I think I will go and come closer here. And I will start by cutting a little bit there. Okay. Okay, now I will, that I have tested it, I will glue everything there. This is the result with the um, border around. <laughs> okay. And now I am not satisfied uh, with the background here. I think I will go and glue on top of this side here some other pattern. I think I will do something like that, maybe a little smaller. Okay, maybe a little smaller, yes, maybe a little smaller, because they are too big in order to have some contrast between Poseidon there and uh, the background, okay? I need some contrast instead of having completely, of having it completely uh, white. And uh, then also here I will paint it uh, white, because um, it's too yellowish. I need to hide the UR here that I marked some time ago. And then for the rest of the stairs here before getting everything together correctly, I will try to find another solution. 
I will try to use some bricks. I will make some bricks. Okay, I won't. I will not apply uh, a texture printed on paper here. Maybe there, yes, on the background, yes, but not here, not here. Okay. Uh, I will show you that. Obviously, if I don't forget to film it, okay. I don't need uh, the water for now. And here I have the part that I want to place there on the background. I measured the uh, the dimension, and now I will cut it, and then uh, glue it together. Obviously, this is not paper. This is some uh, not too heavy carton uh, agaki if you want to know exactly I, i'm using some agaki paper suited for uh, high resolution but not uh, a gloss it is matte and so it absorbs the right quantity of uh, uh, pigment of ink Printing done there with my classic walls I used uh, last year too, and I will go and glue it there. Let's go. by not finish I will finish this uh, little session here by painting uh, the base of uh, the uh, statue of Poseidon okay so I will paint it some ivory I think because I don't want it too white and I don't want it too <laughs> too dark uh, too yellow and also all the um, stairs and uh, and railings i will paint them uh, the same color the same ivory color okay
Now I think uh, it is dry. Let's check. Yes, let's use a finger that is not dirty. Yes, let me put Poseidon in its right place there. Okay, voila. I will not switch on the, <laughs> the water right now because I need everything to dry a little more but this will be the overall effect before adding the bricks there all along this wall here and that other wall there but it's for uh, some some time later i think let's uh, continue with some painting on the uh, twin stairs okay
yes and uh, aged also yes okay still need to do some work on the uh, on the front with the bricks see you I don't know when yes I know it is far from being perfect but I will keep it anyway oh, I'm talking about the twin stairs obviously but uh, I really need to do a pause right now. I will uh, go ahead with the bricks and uh, the upper section here lately because right now I really need to start modifying my layout. I will need to modify this part here, this little panel here. It is not an entire panel because it is only uh, 80 centimeters by 50 centimeters but I will modify this part here there and then there and then here this rectangle here and I'm going to make something crazy at least for me uh, because I don't want any more straight lines here in this uh, all along the second level okay at least less uh, straight lines so let I will try to get in position the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, maybe I will use uh, two cameras. I don't know. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I will need to do some measurements. Okay. And I will go here. First of all, I will need to detach the panel. Let's see if I can. Okay, I still need some things there. Okay, good. In a better position. Let me see if you can get it. No, you can't. Okay. And from the other camera, yes, you can. So uh, I will try to go every uh, little bit higher. Maybe, no. Okay, I will use this camera here, this one, this camera, because the other one is way not suited right now. So I will use this camera hoping that you can see what I will be doing. Maybe I will go right there for now. Yes, let's go. I really need to do something crazy. So I will measure and then try to cut something. I will use my red uh, pen here because I already have some black here. So uh, I will try to measure uh, here, let's say 
19 centimeters from the border. Okay. Okay. I will do the same thing from this other corner here. Uh, I will push 19 centimeters, almost uh, a little more, 19.1. Okay. 19 centimeters there. All right. Now my old uh, wooden ruler, and I will trace. A straight line. Yes, another straight line. Yeah, it's for good purpose. Okay, hope you can see the line right there. Now, from uh, the other side here, I mark it 19 centimeters there. I will go with, let's say, 20. Okay, a little less than 20 centimeters from here. Nineteen, 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 nineteen. Yes, a little less than twenty. There. Okay. And then, and then, I will take my compass here. Okay, my old compass. I could have used uh, yes, my handmade compass, but with uh, the circle I need to draw, I will use this compass here. And I will go and measure a radius of 10 centimeters, okay? Let's say 10 centimeters. Ten, this is nine, a little more, too much. Ten centimeters. Okay, this is ten centimeters of radius from here to there, and I will place my compass right in the cross there, in the middle of the cross. There, and even if a pencil is not uh, uh, ideal to draw a, an arc of a circle, I will try and get an arc of a circle there. Not very visible. I will try to mark it some more in plain red. I will go with another one there, but I am way more craziest. Uh, let's say I will go from this side just uh, uh, 15.6 centimeters, okay? 15.6, okay. 15.6. Right there, and then I will go. I will go. I will go. I will go here. There, twenty. Let's say twenty centimeters. I need to be precise. I need to be precise. I will 
get my square. Another, uh, another one there, and this time I will go not with the 10 centimeters to symmetrical, but I will go if I here have 15.6 around 15.6 centimeters, I will go with the same radius with the next part of the circle 15. Let's say it is correct, and this time, let's see, it's not precise, the... yes, it is, so I will go there. you can't see anything but I just needed to have the marking then I will go This one is more visible because it is really near the camera. And now, and now, if I place some lines, I will cut into the styrofoam. I will go with a line having here straight, then an arc of a circle inside, then another straight line, then this time I will cut there and finishing here right now so i will have a little in and a big out here okay and this will be my new profile then i will try to explain what i will have here and what i will have there all right and a little difficult because cutting a circle even with a styrofoam cutting table is not that easy uh, same thing here and this is a big piece i actually will not be able to get it uh, entirely in one piece and trying to uh, cut uh, the uh, the form i want so i will need to make a pose and maybe yes i will need to cut it in two pieces right there maybe there 
and so it will be more easily cuttable, easily cuttable uh, this side and this other side, and I will rejoin them. And obviously here I will do something more, but it's not for now. Uh, let's have a pause, then I will change my scenario and go to the cutting table. See you in some seconds. Okay, let's hope uh, that everything will proceed as it should. Otherwise, I will need to do the work all over again with the new panel. Let's go. I will have to cut in the middle. It is moving too much. I will go with the 37 centimeters. 37 centimeters there and 37 centimeters here. If I plan it correctly, it should cut cut in the middle of where I have the cross. Okay, let's hope to do something good. All right, let's go slowly. My intention was to cut uh, along the middle of this little X here and a little more towards the left because this is right, this is left. Hey, anyway, uh, it's not that dramatic because I will have something in the middle. Right now, I need uh, I need to check something. Okay, this is right there. So <clears throat> I will need to mark. I don't know if you are seeing no, nothing. I will go inside here and mark something. Okay, I will need to know uh, where I'm going. So I will go this and this to let me just know and I will go the same thing there and there just in case okay and a little dot yeah to know the direction now I will need to cut there a circle and then there Okay, you aren't seeing it, so I will need to cut there, then the circle, the half circle, the arc of a circle, and then there, this line. I will keep this part here, I will remove this part here. Very difficult, very, very difficult. I don't know if I will be able to go around. <coughs> I'm so dumb, guys. I spent the last 20 minutes trying to figure out the best way to cut uh, an arc of a circle with this cutting machine uh, and free without uh, making a mess. <laughs> then I realized, I remember suddenly, then a few months ago when I um, did my version 2, my, this new version of the cutting table, I also made some gigs for it. And I did this gig here. It's nothing else than three pieces of plywood. One, two, and three. Uh, I used some screw there to do a guide. And then I I made this groove here in plain middle. Uh, and here I placed a screw. Yeah, uh, <coughs> self, um, a screw, a simple screw there. And uh, it will be used like this. Yeah, I just needed to insert it there. Then I just needed to go red 
uh, and this is the center of this will be considered the screw here will be considered the center of the uh, arc of the arc of the circle I need to cut and then I will go this is the radius okay this is from the screw to the wire here okay so uh, let's make an example uh, let's say I will need to have a circle there uh, of uh, let's say four centimeters of uh, uh, Five centimeters of diameter. Okay, so uh, I will go there. I will get the middle in here. There. And there. Here is the middle. Then uh, 5 centimeters of diameter equals 2.5 centimeters in radius. So I will go, this is too much. I will go with the uh, distance between the screw and the uh, wire of 2.5 centimeters to. 2.5 centimeters there and I will go here and I will fix this there one here and one there okay and then I will place I will try to get the screw here in the middle here I will go trying to do it precisely as much as possible Okay, there's the middle. Now I will proceed until I reach the guide there. So let's go. Okay, I'm done. Now fix it there. I can simply switch on and go. I need to have less power. And I will restart and starting to get around oops and there's the circle okay and uh, this is a very very <laughs> not very thick at all and so I need to go very quickly, otherwise it will ruin by the, the temperature. But hey, look, a circle, almost perfect. And in this case, I have a, a negative there or an out of a circle. If you want, I can have an out of a circle. Very, very easy with this gig here, with this accessory, with this tool here. Sorry guys, I should have told about it before, but uh, uh, now let's go and decide uh, how to proceed. I need to have, I need to have, and you already seen it, sorry, the art of a circle here. So this will be the middle, I need to have it uh, the other way, so I will remeasure it uh, from there and then here. I will place the screw, then I will proceed, uh, maybe from this angle here. The problem with uh, uh, such uh, uh, with uh, such a big piece of uh, styrofoam is that can, that even if I reach the middle there, okay, uh, I will be going against the uh, the guide here. I will hit the guide. So I will need to proceed differently.
tricky, but here too I have an almost new surface there and I will need to do something more and uh, let's test it right now and what are the result guys here I go so where you see there the line is where the previous uh, panel went very straight all along this line now I have this entrance there with some arcade circle and then this other here okay yes oh, it's not all round but I added something crazy and I will do something there in the middle right there and around it sorry I lost the focus maybe okay let's see if I can retake focus okay and then I will also do something here on top of level two okay but I have something different I have a, a different architecture and I don't have just a square red rectangles I can go here instead of walking here up oh, okay I can go there so and so on and this is a way and maybe in this angle I will have a, a building a lighted building I have enough space I think let me just measure how I got there I got nine centimeters almost 10 centimeters maybe some of the buildings will fit there uh, otherwise i will do something else i will do a little scene etc um, micro scene as uh, you uh, heard me saying last season and here too i can go with something different but yes i don't have a way to climb there or to go down from level two here down there but just remember that i still have those two lines here those two lines here are my delimitation and i think i have 10 centimeters there yes 10 centimeters okay uh, i will use that to insert a stair okay so i will cut here all along those lines here Oops. I think 30 centimeters left okay then in the middle I will have uh, uh, stairs some stairs getting over as always with nine cent nine millimeters thick uh, styrofoam I cannot achieve 12 centimeters because I still have 20 cent 12 centimeters so I will need a first layer of uh, three uh, millimeters and then nine uh, and then uh, level steps of nine uh, millimeters uh, let me just uh, cut uh, what I need from there then I will show you the empty space then I will fill the empty space with the stairs that I don't have uh, uh, on my hand I will need to build a new stair line there but instead of having uh, stairs outside the wall I will have a stair going inside the wall, very long stair, going up, 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 very long stair. First time I will use a so long stair. Generally I use when I embed stairs into walls, uh, shorter stairs. I thought I will have a way of getting an interesting point of view from the distance if I have a long stair getting up there. Uh, with 10 centimeters or so of, uh, um, of uh, uh, width, mm, I can have something also going on on some of the steps. Uh, it's similar to the, step, to the steps I had in this corner last year, when I have a nail, uh, little stairs going in between the walls here, and then an L-shaped stair, but I don't want you, I don't want to bother you with my past season, but hey, uh, this one will be the longest embedded, <laughs> let me call it like that, uh, stairs I have. Uh, and I don't think it will be the only type 
of scale of sales I will be doing in this part six. Okay. So uh, I will let the camera here and I will uh, cut and then I will show you the result. And there I will have the stairs. Okay. Let me just move there. So the point of view with the stairs getting uh, up and very large stairs, I know, but it will give everything a good, good looking aspect. And here I need to have some space for some buildings or anything else, maybe two buildings, uh, uh, lighter buildings. And so from this side two, some more buildings. Okay, from this side too, here yeah, some more buildings. Um, now, uh, let's go ahead and let's build the stairs. Let's start building the stairs, the long stairs. I will need a lot of glue. my pain with the kiss then suddenly you are here inside my head everywhere where did you come from i'm wondering baby are you made up of for real say can you feel what i feel cause i can tell if i'm just dreaming the stair is done obviously <laughs> still need to be painted but that's, that's all 12 centimeters 8 12 centimeters 8 okay see you for something else let's talk about the bricks i will be using gluing on the right wall here and left wall there of the twin stairs and made of course but where do I start it from? I started from nine millimeters thick styrofoam panels, but obviously I can't glue nine millimeters thick bricks on the wall there. So what I did, I uh, cut uh, long stripes of styrofoam, like in this case, they have uh, one centimeters in uh, width, Okay, this is one centimeter and a nine millimeters uh, thick. Okay, uh, then I sliced them vertically three times. Nine millimeters divided by three equals three millimeters thick, uh, long stripes of styrofoam. And once again, I cut a bunch of them together, uh, um, two centimeters long pieces. So I get one centimeters by two centimeters by three millimeters bricks and then and then i've uh, took all of them and put them in this strange washing machine 
a strange shredding machine, strange aging machine that you are already seen me using with my uh, peer, my dog's last uh, part, uh, during the last part. So let's open, oops, sorry for the camera. Very hard to open. Okay, uh, so I get those kind of bricks, uh, aged, yes. They are aged, not perfectly, uh, but uh, I don't uh, exaggerate. I didn't exaggerate with the <coughs> washing, <coughs> washing, because those are really very, very thin pieces of styrofoam, and I risked to break all of them. Some of them are more rounded in the corner. Some of them are being aged perfectly. Maybe some of them broke. I don't know. But uh, okay, now I have a, a good amount of bricks that I will be gluing on the walls there. I will be going one by one, so I will remove some of the pebbles there. I, I will put them there. And I will start with my brush and with my uh, glue, my PVC glue. And I will go as if I was building a, a real, a real uh, wall, a real brick wall. Uh, let me just remove them. Okay. 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 I have. Uh, a good amount of handmade bricks. I don't know if you uh, already know, sorry, how a wall is uh, built with bricks. I will do an example here. If you go with a row of bricks like this one, like that, having, uh, okay, now it's not perfectly horizontal. Okay, the next row will go like this way. Okay, uh, with the uh, <clears throat> with the displacement, with the sliding of half a brick, uh, right, right or left in order to get a stable structure. <laughs> Otherwise, if you do a wall like this one, it will collapse in a matter of time, okay? So I will get seated. I will take my, my glue that I have here, my always <laughs> very trusty glue and a brush. I will sit down and I will start uh, gluing uh, the uh, the mm, bricks together. Did you come from a wonderland? Baby, are you made up of for real? Say, can you feel what I feel? Cause I can tell if I'm just Inside my head everywhere Where did you
right I think the left side here is done still need to be painted still need to check yes it has glued to the paper but hey I will wait for some uh, uh, time uh, uh, to go even more drier I just have a problem here with this one okay and then I will paint it uh, we paint the the wall. Uh, it took me one hour, one hour to complete that uh, wall there. Still need to do the right side there, and uh, I will get an update with you when this is done. So see you <laughs> in one hour. And the right side is done too. I just need to put some pieces here and there, but I will uh, put them after um, removing the single sides and painting them, because right now it is time for some painting. Uh, this one uh, took me less, 45-50 uh, minutes, okay, and uh, so I went uh, quicker, and now Mm, without painting, I don't know if it has the correct aspect, uh, but uh, not having the same thickness um, because when I slided the long stripes in three, obviously I sometimes I can't have exact three millimeters uh, slice each time, so it, it gave a good look to the bricks there, and there are some uh, bricks protruding. Uh, towards the front, some are uh, more towards the back, so uh, a good looking aspect for me at least. Uh, let me paint this, those two, oh shoot, I forget to paint there, but I will get to there in just some minutes, all the um, balusters here have to be painted. Uh, let's go and uh, have some painting done. Here. Left section of the twin stairs ready to be painted. I will start with some black, then I will go with some ivory. I don't know, not gray because uh, maybe gray, I don't know, maybe light gray. I want to have um, a contrast between the ivory here and uh, but I don't know yet. Maybe I will go with some with the same color I did the baluster. Let's let's go. Let's try then I will go and see. Okay? If you are wondering why some bricks are whiter than the others uh, it all depends uh, uh, the side I glued it. This was actually not the side uh, I cut my, with my uh, cutting table. This has been cut by the cutting table. So this was the surface, the top surface or the bottom surface of the original piece of uh, styrofoam and the uh, darker one are the uh, ones with the mm, surface uh, having been cut by the style of a cutter. That's why I have a difference in uh, color uh, here on the bricks, but it's good like that. <clears throat> I hoped that uh, I would have that result uh, simply because it, g it gets the bricks different colors, one finished, some darker, some lighter. Let's continue. If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name If you love me, let me hear you, babe Cause I wonder if you feel the same, same Or just tell me if you feel the same You don't need a
it's too dry, then I will add a little of brown here and there and some, I don't know, uh, I will see what I will be doing in just some minutes, a little drying time here. is this one now I will attack the right side okay the right side of the twin stairs I will go and get the other part the right side here of the twin stairs I will go the exact same way I think I will start then uh, we will see when it's done yes, okay and the final recap with the painting done and the right and left section of the twin stairs already where they belong uh, and i just need to wait for some glue here and there to dry a little more then i will do i will um, add some painting and final touches here and there and more probably i will add some more uh, bricks there because i don't like this fissure at all uh, the, the other side, I don't have the fissure, okay, but this isn't symmetric. So I will probably add some more uh, little bricks here and there. Uh, I will show you next, uh, with next part, the uh, final uh, result. So the wall there finished, uh, Poseidon in his place. I've uh, painted here. I will need to add one more layer of painting there. And there are two, but I need to wait uh, the total drying of the paint. And uh, yes, I've almost finished my twin stair after more than a month from the beginning. And now here, let's get a look there to the stair. You have seen me building it and I've painted it with some black uh, very wet wash, very black wash, then some gray, then some brown, then some light gray, and uh, finally with some um, dry white brush. I have also added some uh, walls here and there on the right and on the left. I can show you the overall result of the painting on the uh, stairs. It is the longest stair. I have ever done and but it's uh, but I don't think it's uh, uh, too long uh, it will have the uh, perfect point of view to this section here and uh, here I will have something more and also there but you have already seen me explaining uh, that uh, I wanted to add to this part six some new type of stairs I will do that next time and here nothing changed here from the uh, wharf dock uh, pier section and docks etc so here is what I've done in this part six uh, it is uh, it has been a long week yes no not as long as the previous one when it was the worst week uh, in the last uh, six months but uh, okay this is all guys 
yes this is all for this uh, part six and see you in just some seconds for my outro <laughs> don't even think that this first restyling of the new season is finished i'm far 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 from that point <laughs> with all i have in mind i couldn't possibly finish it in just one part this is supposed to be a victorian era city village but any victorian era city have a past they all came from medieval times and what better than wars could characterize medieval cities so i thought why not adding along this section here some remaining of walls and why not also with a couple of arc and some doors under those arcs because walls and uh, doors were the best way to prevent invasions from the sea so i will probably add it not surely i will add some remaining walls there and also the arcs and why not also uh, a tower, a uh, watchtower somewhere here, very high watchtower, guard watchtower, uh, with uh, some passage here and there to connect to the section. Still thinking about that, but worse, I will surely add worse. And also a new type of uh, stairs I never used before, but they were very, very common uh, in medieval times. So, as always, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.